Hello students, welcome to lecture of kinematics and theory of machine, myself Professor Silas Patel and we are going to continue uh, our chapter velocity in mechanism and in this lecture we will study the example based on relative velocity method. Okay, let's start. Before starting the example of velocity in mechanism, we will revise the some points uh, we have learned in a previous lecture because in uh, this chapter there is uh, no derivation or any formula. Tot, uh, totally example depends on the funda, fundamental things we have learned in uh, uh, theories okay so uh, you have you know that first of all uh, first rule is that all fixed point will be at origin so in example uh, in mechanism whatever the points uh, number of points you see the which are fixed will be at the same point on a origin point okay or in a velocity diagram second is the velocity of any link uh, any point on a link will be perpendicular to link third is a direction of slider always be the line of action passed through the origin point in a velocity diagram i am going to explain you this again because if the piston if the piston is uh, moving in uh, this direction then the you will draw the line passing through the origin okay I'm giving you another example. If the slider is a sliding some at position, some at angle is there, and it is sliding with this direction. So what you have to do in velocity diagram, you have to draw the line passing through the origin in direction of line of action of piston. Now you can understand that what is a rule number three? Direction of slider will be same as line of action. Its direction will be in this line, but it will pass through the origin point. Okay, and after that, last and fourth rule is the velocity of any point on a link. Means in a, for the velocity, or uh, if on a link, you you want to find the n uh, velocity of any point, you have to take the this ratio between the space diagram and velocity diagram. Okay. Let's start the first example of velocity in mechanism. So you can see here uh, in a four bar chain mechanism ABCD, AD is a fixed, AD is a fixed. So I can draw the AD here and then uh, its length is 150. Okay, the crank is a 40 crank here. It is a 40 and uh, rotate at a 120 RPM, 120 RPM and link cd okay ad and there is a link cd directly given here okay and oscillate about the d point d point is here and bc and ad are equal length okay so this th fourth link and this first link is a same length find the angular velocity of cd means uh, we have to find the velocity of link cd angle of BAD is given. So first of all we have to draw this whole mechanism. So check this dimension first. So length of all four links given here. Okay. So first of all we have to draw this uh, space diagram. Minimum one or two marks are given in an exam for drawing only the space diagram which is given in a paper. So we have to just draw the given figure with a scale. Okay, so we can see the four dimensions of the link uh, AB is equal to 40, uh, CD is equal to 80 and AD is equal to 150. So how we can draw this in a, our uh, sheet, drawing sheet. So first of all, we have to consider the largest and smallest dimension. Largest is a 150 and smallest is 40. So 150 means half foot or 15 centimeter. So we have to descale the dimension so we can draw easily. So we will take the scale is equal to 1 mm is equal to means 1 centimeter in our drawing will be in actual will be 2 centimeter okay so ab is equal to 40 but in our drawing it will be 20 mm only and largest dimension which is a 150 mm will be in our drawing sheet it will be 75 mm only okay 
so we will draw this displacement diagram how we can draw this displacement diagram first of all start with the ad which is a fix so ad is equal to 150 but in our drawing sheet it will be 75 mm now what is given the angle between bad is given what is the angle given 60 so we will take the 60 degree here so 60 degree line but how much it will be the length of this is the a d a d now a to b length is given 40 mm but in our drawing it will be only 2 centimeter like this this is the 60 degree angle and this length a b is a 2 centimeter Okay, now CD is given, CD length is given 80 mm. So, in our drawing, it will be 40 mm. And other dimension, BC, is given uh, is equal to AD, means it will be 75. So, how you can draw these uh, B to C and uh, uh, C to D? Okay, but CD, C, CD is uh, given 80 mm. So, how you can locate the C point? So, as you know that distance from B to C is given uh, 150 okay we, so I will take here dimension 75 75 B to C 75 and I will take one arc here okay simple arc then from D to C CD CD distance is given 80 mm so my dimension will be here 40 mm here 40 and I will draw the arc second arc here and the intersecting point between these two arc it will be the c point and i will draw here this line like c to d and b to c so th that's how you will draw the a b c d a b c d okay now this is the space diagram and using this space diagram we will draw the velocity diagram okay so as you can see on a screen this is the space diagram we have drawn this a to b b to c c to d and d to a now first of all remember that to draw the velocity diagram we must need one velocity of any link and for that they always give the uh, rpm or angular velocity if they give the n rpm so we will find the omega omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 and from using omega we can find the velocity of that link velocity is equal to angular velocity omega into length of that link in this example velocity of b with respect to a is given which is a 120 rpm so we can find the omega omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 so we can find the angular velocity of point b with respect to a which is a 12.56 radian per second okay now how you will find the velocity of b linear velocity v with respect to a linear velocity of b with respect to a will be angular velocity omega b a into length of that a b link but remember that length of this a b link is 40 mm okay in actual dimension not we have drawn here we have drawn here only 20 mm in our drawing okay this is the scale we have taken so don't measure in a drawing actual dimension is the 40 mm we have converted that into meter because linear velocity meter per second so angular velocity into uh, length of that ab link in a meter 0 0.04 so we we, are, we will find the velocity which value is a 0.503 so this is the velocity of b with respect to a now we will draw this velocity in our velocity diagram and we can using this velocity we will find the all other velocities of links okay so first of all to draw the velocity diagram we need the scale for the velocity diagram and which scale we will take think about that how you will can draw this 0.5 meter per second so first of all we have to take some scale so i can say that 1 meter per second is equal to something 100 mm okay this scale i have decided 
which is a 1 meter per second is equal to 100 mm. So, what will happen here? 0 0.503 meter per second. So, we have to just multiply to 100 and we can find this AB vector or velocity of B with respect to a vector 53 mm which is a very uh, easy to draw. So, let us start to draw the velocity diagram for this mechanism. So, rule number 1 all should remember the rule number 1 all the fixed point in a space diagram should be at the origin point in a velocity diagram. So, how you will draw the velocity diagram? So, first of all take one point which is a origin point or reference point for the all other links. So, you can see here A and D this both points are fixed. So, in a small A and D these two points will be at the same origin point because both point have a velocity 0. How many number of links or element which have a 0 velocity will be on a same point in a velocity diagram. Now, with respect to A, velocity of B. So, remember that velocity of any point on a link will be perpendicular to link, perpendicular to link, but in which direction is depend upon the direction of the link. In this example, they have given this is the direction in a clockwise direction. So, direction velocity of B with respect to A will be perpendicular to link and direction will be this in this direction. So, perpendicular to link I have to draw this here and length will be which we have find it AB is equal to 50.3 mm in this direction. So, how you can draw this perpendicular from AB link here. So, there are multiple methods are there and uh, using that matter we can uh, draw the perpendicular here from AB. First easiest method is that using the set square. Using two set square you can find the uh, perpendicular at any link. So, first of all check this. First of all I have to set the set square here which is parallel to link and then second using second set, set square I will attach here and this is the perpendicular to this link. So, I will set here which which and line which is passing through this. So, check this like this and this line is a perpendicular to AB and length will be this is the AB vector velocity of B with respect to A ok this is a AB ok. So, using this method you can find uh, perpendicular at any position. Second method is uh, using the ruler. How you can draw the uh, perpendicular using the ruler? So, simple method is that for that first of all you have to draw the perpendicular on a link very lightly like here you have to draw the perpendicular very lightly here. So, you can see here this is the perpendicular I have drawn here like assume that this is the rollers. So, using this roller perpendicular you can roll that on any place and you can draw the perpendicular ok, but set square is the easiest method. Now, we have the B point. So, from A, B, C, D we have find it the A, D and B. Now, we need the C point and how you can find the C point in a velocity diagram easiest method is that C is moving with respect to B and also C is moving with respect to D also, but we do not know the magnitude, but we know the direction ok. When we consider this D C link, the velocity of C with respect to B, the direction of C will be perpendicular to this link, may be perpendicular in this direction or maybe in this direction, perpendicular to link means above or below, we do not know the direction right now, but uh, means on a which side we do not know, but we know the direction will be always perpendicular to link. So, we will draw this perpendicular from this B point, we do not know the magnitude, so we do not know the length of that link, uh, length of that line, but we know the direction. So, we will draw here like this perpendicular to this B C link, so we will put the set square here on B C and then using this set square. Now, we are talking about the C, 
C with respect to B. Okay, so we will put the uh, set square on BC link, and using the set square we will draw the line from the B, like here B. Okay. and this line we will draw this line but very lightly very light line will be there because this is not the final line okay we know the direction c point will be on this line anywhere that can be possibly possible but now this c point is also with respect to d moving because c point is also on the this cd link so c with respect to d so now we have to draw this perpendicular from this cd link and which from which point this d point so velocity of c with respect to d so i will put here the set square here like this second here and this perpendicular we will draw from the d point like this okay so you can see this when this two line will be intersect the point you will get will be the d point sorry c point c point and you can dark this line also this is the velocity diagram this triangle is a velocity diagram and extra line you can erase okay so this is the velocity diagram and how you can draw this i will explain you again first of all one line you can draw easily because the always they give the velocity okay then for the other link you have to just draw the perpendicular to link perpendicular to link all the link for all other link you have to draw the perpendicular to link and you will get here now using this how you will find the angular velocity of cd link angular velocity of cd link so angular velocity of cd first of all you know the velocity of cd is equal to angular velocity of cd into length of cd length now you can find the omega cd using velocity of cd divided by cd so for finding the angular velocity of cd you need the velocity linear velocity and how you can find the linear velocity of cd cd indicating the velocity of cd velocity of cd okay so measure this cd distance here we will measure the cd distance is a 38.5 okay but we have take the scale here which is a 1 meter 1 meter per second is equal to 100 mm so now we have to divide this value by this 100 and you will get the velocity which is the point velocity of cd is equal to 0.385 meter per second and meter per second divided by length of that link okay so length uh, cd is a uh, 80 mm but divided by 1000 you will get the 0.080 0.080 so omega cd is equal to you will find the uh, value 4.8 radian per sec